Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how you can add a floating WhatsApp button to your blog. How you can add a floating WhatsApp button to your blog. First of all, I'd like to highlight you on the importance of a floating WhatsApp button. That today, most businesses are making sure that they attract as many customers as they can and retain them. They will equally like customers to talk with them directly. So to do this, these are the steps you're going to follow. So you will just go to www.blockwits.blogspot.com. And when you get there, uh, you click on block. Uh, you have blogger widgets. And then here you have the floating WhatsApp button. So when you click on that, it's going to bring you to this page where you have this. This is the source code which we are going to use. So there are two steps involved. The first step is to copy and paste this code just before the body of your HTML. And the second thing is to do some adjustments. So let's do this practically. So first of all, I'm going to copy this code from script. Okay. Up to this point where I have script, I end here, I copy. Okay, copy the code. I now go to my blog and I'll move to my blog HTML uh, where I have theme, I click on theme, customize, edit HTML. Then I'll go to the very end of the blog. That's where I'm going to add it. So just before the end of the blog here, just before body. So I'm going to paste it here. So if I paste it, uh, this is what I'm going to have. So just before the block, at this point, I'm going to paste the code. And this is the code here that I've pasted. After pasting this code, the second step is to do some modifications. Some modifications. So here with these modifications, I'm going to modify the title of my block. Here it's block widths. So you have to modify this title. And then you modify this PNG. This is the URL address of your brand image. So you're going to modify it. Let me show you how to do this. For example, um, if I want to uh, use, for example, blogger, blogger, and um, so blogger icon, uh, PNG, always take a PNG it's because of the transparency, okay? So I'm going to choose one of these and I, I'm going to make sure that it's transparent. So I'm going to select the transparent one. Uh, so I end up with this. So this is how I'm going to copy the PNG. I want to select this one. It's going to be selected using its URL. So I right click on it, copy image address. I copy the image address and this is what I'm going to use. So that is what you're going to do. All right, so getting back to the point where we were before. So here equally, I have to edit this, the PNG. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to replace this. Then uh, you have this message, you can replace it with something else, what suits you. And equally, for example, here, hello, I have a question about block uh, widgets or block widths, whatever I'm going to, you can replace this, whatever message you like. And very importantly, this is a WhatsApp telephone number. You have to replace this uh, WhatsApp telephone number with your own a telephone number, not mine. If you want to get to me, you can get to me on this, but actually you have to replace with your own a WhatsApp phone number. So you're going to replace, put your number here. And then that's all. So you now click on save, you now save your theme. So the theme is being saved until this processing shows that it's complete. When it shows that it's complete, then you can actually move and check the block. So now let me go back to my block and see what I have view the block. Now you see that this WhatsApp uh, has appeared here. It has now appeared. So there are other things you may like to modify. For example, if I want to remove this chat with us completely, I can decide to remove it completely. So I can decide to put something else there. Like for example, uh, let's say 24, which means that you are really you're available to chat uh, 24 on seven. So instead of putting that, uh, instead of having that uh, chat with us, this is it. So I'm going to replace this chat with us and put 24. So if we put 24, let's see what's going to happen if we replace that by 24. 
All right, so we replace it by 24. Let it save. Okay, update successful. Now let's refresh and see what we have on our block. Now you see, this is what we now have here. So a customer can click on this and can chat with you directly. Thank you so much. And if you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to subscribe and equally click on the link below this video and it will take you automatically to the site where you can have this complete source code. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much and bye-bye.